Hello, good evening. Welcome to First United Methodist Church here in downtown Lake Charles. I'm so excited to see all of your wonderful smiling faces tonight. Wow, this is amazing. Um, we're so excited to have Joel Rainey here tonight. Uh, a quick little story. So this all started two years ago uh, in December 2019 when we did his cantata, uh, Celtic Christmas cantata called Have You Heard? And that was Mary Kate and I's first kind of big event that we did after we got the jobs here at this church. And um, so we did that by Joel Rainey. And then I was just looking online, kind of looking for a little bit more about him. And I saw that he does composer weekends, which is what we're doing here now. So it was almost two years ago that this whole process began. And he originally was going to come in August 2020. We all know why that didn't happen. And now here we are. It's happening. Um, so a little bit of information about Joel. He uh, got his degree in choral conducting from the University of North Alabama. Uh, and then he earned his master's degree in piano performance from Juilliard. Um, he has over 250 titles in print, uh, primarily with Hope Publishing. And he ha composes a wide variety of things from choral anthems, musicals, cantatas, handbell compositions, piano works, and instrumental works, which we do most of those things. Um, he has conducted national tours of Broadway productions and um, has been honored for outstanding musical direction of theater in both Chicago and Illinois. And he is from Chicago. That's where he resides now. Um, and he has also, this is really neat, he has written soundtracks for more than 2,000 television and radio commercials. That was really, really cool. Uh, he currently is the Minister of Music at First Baptist Church of Oak Park, Illinois. And um, right now, the choir is preparing another cantata by him that we will be performing on December 19th here um, at our 10 o'clock. We're doing one 10 o'clock service, and that's called Peace. Uh, we'll be working with him tomorrow on that privately. And, um, and uh, to kind of wrap up the weekend on this Sunday, he will be kind of leading music for our 11 o'clock traditional service. He'll be playing a prelude and directing the chancel choir and Asbury Ringers in his composition, The Lord is My Strength. So that's a little bit about the weekend, a little bit about Joel Rainey. Uh, so without further ado, I welcome Joel Rainey. And before we begin, I'd like to ask Reverend Weldon to lead us in prayer. Okay, thank you, Emmy. Welcome, Joel. Welcome to all of you. So glad that you're here this evening. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Lord, thank you for this day that you've given us and for this opportunity tonight. Thank you, Lord, that you speak to us in all kind of different ways, including music. I thank you, Lord, for Joel and for his ministry. And I pray your blessings upon him and his family and his ministry and outreach and upon all of us this evening as we gather together. May this be an inspirational evening. In Christ's name, amen.
Thank you. Good evening. Uh, it's nice to see so many, so many folks here. You didn't have anything better to do on a Friday night. Come on. Huh. Uh, thanks for coming out and allowing me to share my music with you. Um, I bring you greetings from Chicago, where when I left this morning it was beginning to snow. Uh, it's nice to be here, though. Um, I'm not. Well, I've lived in Chicago for 35 years, but I still feel like I'm from Alabama because that's where I grew up. Northwest corner of the state. Uh, we went to a, a tiny little Baptist church, the First Baptist Church of Anderson, Alabama. That was the only thing there was to do in Anderson, Alabama. And uh, my parents made sure that I was there every time the doors were open. Consequently, I fell in love with hymns at a very very young age and uh, started playing for the church at a very young age and you know I still have my old Broadman hymnal that uh, I wrote my name in in pencil how many of you have a hymnal at home how many of you stole those hymnals <laughs> yeah we do that don't we well <clears throat> As I was growing up, I also developed this, this crazy urge to improvise, and uh, I couldn't help myself. And it, it used to just make my mom so upset when I would start doing it to the hymns, because she thought that was just sacrilegious. But I got a kick out of embarrassing her from time to time. For instance, if uh, I remember one Sunday night, the prelude was, I was going to play We're Marching to Zion. You know that? And Wonderful Words of Life. You know that? Oh, you know these. And this is what I did.
you'll discover as I keep going tonight <laughs> that I really can't help myself sometimes. Um, I, I really enjoy um, putting as much style as I can into church music. Um, sometimes I may get carried away, but uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoy this excursion tonight uh, with, with all these different types of music. Um, I want to play a medley of spirituals. Um, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot is probably the best known of all spirituals. It was written by a fellow named Wallace Willis, who was one of the Choctaw freedmen. And when he went to Oklahoma and he saw the Red River Valley, uh, he was inspired by the, the, uh, the Bible story of Ezekiel. And he penned those words. Uh, I looked over Jordan and what did I see? A band of angels coming after me. Uh, Here is uh, a medley, I call it Carry Me Home.
I was telling Emmy earlier that um, this concert was supposed to happen a long time ago, and uh, this is actually the first time I've sat and played an entire program in almost two years. So if I fall off the bench, you'll know why. I'm also experiencing some wonderful southern Louisiana allergies. (laughs) So anything could happen. Um, I grew up uh, in a very musical family and my parents had musical aspirations for me but not what you might think my dad wanted me so badly to grow up and play on the Lawrence Welk show (laughs) because that was it you you had arrived if you were at the Lawrence Welk level I saw uh, there were some wonderful musicians on there. Joanne Castle, man, could she play? Um, and Bob Ralston, I heard him play once. Malaganya, you probably know the piece. And it inspired me to sit down and uh, wonder. The composer of Malaganya was Ernesto Laquana, who's a, a very famous Cuban musician, more so even than Ricky Ricardo, I guess. And. Um, uh, I, I asked myself, what would he do if he were arranging all creatures of our God and King? So I call this a Spanish Rhapsody. <laughs> Thank you. 
managers love to do is put two tunes together. Um, I've, I've said that it's my mission in life to put amazing grace with everything because it just fits. I want to play an arrangement of amazing grace um, that I discovered uh, when I was in graduate school at Juilliard in the practice rooms one very lonely, lonely week uh, as they could be when you're a little kid from Alabama plucked up and put down in New York City. Some of those times were rough. And uh, I found a lot of comfort in my old Broadman hymnal. And I discovered that there's this wonderful uh, list. Um, what's it? One of the three concert etudes. It's called Un Suspiro. And I discovered that, hmm, Amazing Grace works with that. Here it is.
thank you again for coming out tonight. Uh, it's been a real treat to play for you. You're all smiling, and I forgot what a, what a live audience looks like. It's it's thrilling to be up here. A little nerve wracking, but thrilling. Um, I want to close my program tonight with um, another trip back into the old Broadman hymnal. Um, this is a a group of hymns all about heaven. So I call this medley heaven.
Thank you again to Joel Rainey. What an amazing set of his music. Absolutely beautiful. I just wanted to let everyone know that he does have a table on this side of the sanctuary. If you want to hear more of his music, he has some CDs. And if you play piano or are an aspiring pianist, you can check out some of his books of music. Um, And Penny will be over there at the table. And... If you haven't gotten enough Joel Rainey yet, make sure you're here for our 11 o'clock traditional service on Sunday, where he'll be playing some more. So thank you again. Let's give Joel one more hand.